Okay. One thing in a, in a boxing match, a fighter always has a bag. So you, you go to plan two. If plan one don't work, you go to plan two. Well, we'll see if they'll have to go to plan three. If there's a third one somewhere <laughs> stuck in there. Well, you might even have to go to plan four. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting ready for round number one of what should be a fantastic night of boxing. Nagi Aguilera in the white trunks and already has his opponent in Jamal Woods against the ropes and in the corner as Woods is dressed in the black and white trunks. And Aguilar, Aguilera, despite the long layoff, coming off very aggressive. Yes. Well, he has to because, like I said, he's, he wants to work the rust off. And so far, so good. He's looking good. He's using his jab. You know, even though the, his opponent have a little height on him. He, you know, he hasn't seen this in a while. It's been a, two years since he's seen a boxing glove in his face. And you talked about that ring rust. How much is it going to hold him back? But right now, Aguilera being the aggressor of the two. As Woods grabs a hold and we'll get back to the center of the ring. Well, trust me, he, Aguilera knows a, a little bit experience about um, his opponent. He's been coming to the fights even though he hasn't participated. You know, he come and watch these other guys fight. So, he, trust me, he have watched this guy. He wouldn't have taken this fight like that, knowing he'd been on a long layoff. So, it's something he saw that interested him. Say, well, I'll fight this guy in the fight in 2020. And after having that long three-year layoff, you have to imagine that there had to have been something that he had seen on tape or live that he felt comfortable stepping into the ring going against Woods, who's already had two fights this year. One majority draw and then a two-round win against Willie Kyles. Well, he knows um, Woods don't come in in the best of shape. That's what he's looking at. If he get in there and get in the gym, put, put A and B together, do all his training, stay focused, he can, he can come out just victorious. But if he go in there and lack up, Woods have a chance. See, everybody look at Woods as a journey. I look at Woods as a risk. He does have that knockout power, but Aguilera, he's just really putting on the pressure here in round one. Both of these fighters can get the knockouts in round one. As Nagi has been able to knock down opponents five times in round number one for Woods, he's had seven knockdowns in round one and caught him with that overhand right. Yeah, so far so good for Nagi. He's keeping his hands up. You know, he's he's trying to stay in the fight, but he can't push the man's head down. That's a no-no in boxing. <laughs> you can see him trying to control the tempo of this fight so far. But what he's doing when he's pushing his head down is cutting his wind off. And he's making it harder for him to breathe. Every time you bend over, it's harder for a boxer to breathe. That's why they tell you in the corner to sit straight up. And that's such a great point because you're also trying to test to see how good a shape he's in and seeing if he does have that ability to recover after having to suck in all that wind. Well, if you look at his stomach, you can see what kind of shape he's in. I mean, look at his stomach breathing in and out. So after round number one, it looked like this fight belonged to Nagi Aguilera in round one. He had a, what looked to have been a better go in this opening round than Jamal Woods. But Terrell Jamal Woods, he's getting some, some advice right here. He looks to be a little tired on the stool after round one. Well, I give Nagi the first round. Woods didn't do anything. He just, I guess he's trying to fill him out or he's trying to see what kind of condition he's in. Some, you know, I think, like I said, Woods' conditions don't always be there. So Nagi's, I know he's in good shape. He's, he has to come out and repeat what he does in the first round so he can win the second round as well. So to round number two, a scheduled six round heavyweight fight between Dominican Dynamite, Nagi Aguilera, and knockout Terrell Jamal Woods. Woods with the black gloves, Aguilera with the white gloves. Standing jab as, to sneak it in there. As you can see, Nagi is counter punching. You know? So far, so good for him. He looks sharp. You know, for him to be on a, such a long layoff like that, he's looking good. Now a little bickering with the uh, official Ivan Guzman, who is a referee for this fight. Nice crowd on hand here at the Arabia Shrine Center in Houston, Texas, in our opening matchup of the evening. And Agi 